Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Davenport and today's video is going to be a holiday tour of our store JD's All About Home. So stay tuned. The first thing we do, we huddle as a team and go over the game plan. This year, Jenna took the lead and we are looking over where all the trees are gonna go, how we're gonna get it all set up. Then we get all together, do our high five and get to work. We start on tables, tablescapes, getting all the Christmas out and unboxing. I never knew until I owned a home decor store how much work was involved to transform a store for the holidays. But I have the best team ever who has the best attitude and we really enjoy working together. Just like in your own home, we start with the trees. We get them out, we start fluffing them, get the lights on if they need it, and then begin decorating the trees. If we don't get anything else done, we wanna make sure we have all seven of our trees finished because we want all of our clients and customers that come in to know how we're decorating the trees and how to have different choices that they can do in their own home. When you first walk into JD's, this is the first room you enter. We call this room the foyer. We have our large 12 foot tree in the middle decorated beautifully. And then around the tree, we have all of our stems and picks that we use in all of the trees that are in the store. On the wall behind me, we have all of our garland so that everybody can kind of see what that garland looks like. Then they just tell us the number that they want and we go get it. Another thing that we do, not everybody can make a bow, so we like to have a lot of pre-made bows at the front of the store and someone just can pick it and check out and they can add it to their own garland or their own wreath. Then when you enter the main part of the store, you feel like you have entered a winter wonderland. There are holiday decorations around every corner. So after Christmas, we go to market in January. Yes, that's after we've cleaned up all the Christmas, Christmas is over. We go to market in January to look at what the upcoming Christmas vendors have in store for us. And that is when we plan our trees for the store. This was one of our favorite trees. We call this the Ralph Lauren tree. We added a lot of blue plaid beautiful gold bells, some feathers coming out, and then this really, really unique blue wood bead garland. This isn't your very traditional tree, but it is a very elegant tree, very different. And for those of you who add one or more trees to your home, this one would be absolutely stunning in an office. This was one of my favorite stems that we found at market. It has a little bit of blue in it, so it went really well with the Ralph Lauren tree. Here's a trick when adding stems. I like to have the stems, when you put it into the tree, let about this much of the stem hang out from the original tree itself. And that makes your tree look fuller and it gives it a lot more beauty. One of the things we love to do is make a floral arrangement for the holidays. This beautiful vase with the little beaded dots on top is probably one of my favorite vases we've gotten this year. But here's something we do. When we make an arrangement like this, after it's arranged, we pull it out of the vase and we put tie wraps around it so that any client that purchases this in the store, they can just pull that whole arrangement out, lie it in a box, and they can use it for the next holiday. And then for the rest of the year, they can use this beautiful vase. Thank you. 
we love to have a few trees around the store that are for children. This one we call the Slinky Dog Tree. This is probably JD's most famous ornament. Uh, he's just adorable and of course you know I like him because I have dachshunds. Uh, but this one we kind of kept in a beautiful red and green, very traditional color, but a little bit whimsical. So when you want to decorate in your kitchen, there's nothing easier than putting a beautiful platter on an easel and just setting it in the corner. At Market, one of the most popular things was cedar, and it's called dripping cedar. And this was a very different wreath, very large, but very natural, and it was one of our favorites. Here's our little girl tree. I want you to take a close look at this ribbon. The ribbon is such a soft, pale pink. It may be a little girl tree, but I think I would love it in my office. So a tip I have for creating your own tree skirt is I go to Home Goods and I find a throw that fits the theme of the tree. Like this little girl tree, the little plush pink was absolutely perfect. This is probably our most popular tree in the store. We call it the glam tree. The tree itself is flocked, so we play off of that by adding a lot of white velvet, a lot of gold, and then the pick I found this year has pearls on it. Yeah, this made this a serious glam tree. Don't be afraid to use big ornaments. This one seems super big and you can shove it into the tree and put branches around it. And then for another large ornament, this gold one was absolutely perfect. Now, one thing I like to do when they're very heavy, make sure if this is loose to hot glue it before you hang it on your tree. We don't want this crashing and breaking. And another thing I do like to do is I like to cut the string off and go ahead and wire it so that I can hang this ornament as close to the branch as possible and gives the illusion that it's growing off the branch. We had a lot of fun with this table centerpiece. We started with these three wood lanterns. We put a bow on top, you'll recognize that from the Ralph Lauren tree, blue and green plaid. Then we added the stems and greenery. Now when you do something like this, don't hot glue it to your lantern. Wire it, that way you can take it off and you can use that lantern throughout the year. The funnest part of this centerpiece is this table runner, it's a faux fur. How fun is that? We absolutely love it. This next tree is our super woodsy tree. This is a very different tree from anything we've ever done, but we kept it very, very natural. These stems, when you first look at them, you're like, mm, I don't know, but once we put them in the tree and they popped off of the green, it really helped play into that woodsy thing. Now let me tell you something different we did with the ribbon. We made bows and added it to the tree, and something that was super popular this year was very thin velvet ribbons. So so we just tied little bows on the end of the stems all over the tree. This tree was probably my favorite tree. I love the color blue and the ribbon is such a soft slate blue color. I know it's not a traditional color, but I fell in love with it. But what took it over the top for me was to run the second ribbon with these beautiful pearls over it and it just stood out from the tree. Then for the picks, I added this green large frosted leaf my other favorite stem I found this year, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I also added that to the top of the tree. You got the bow around the tree and you can always put stems right on top and that just gives your tree more height and more beauty. Every year, I like to pick one thing that I call the big wow factor for the store. And this year, it was this huge reindeer. Uh, Scott about had a heart attack when he unboxed it, but it's magnificent. We just added a little bit of greenery on it and a big, beautiful red bow. Somebody's gonna love this. Thank you. 
Over in this section of the store, this is where we have our mantle, and I make custom garland. Anybody can come in and they can buy the whole thing just like it is. It comes off of the mantle, and then I get to create a whole nother custom garland, which is my favorite thing to do. But I want to show you something else we added. We have beautiful stockings, but we found these little gold stars and we hung them along with the stocking and that little gold just pops off of the green velvet stockings. Absolutely lovely. This tree in the corner, I give full credit to Jenna. She decorated it. Instead of us going with a more traditional red color, we went with a cranberry. We did cranberry magnolia leaves, then a white magnolia because that really pops off the green of the tree. The garland was gold. The stem were gold, but take a look at these very unique ornaments. Cranberry color as well, but I'd never seen anything like it, and I thought it would look stunning on the tree, and Jenna did a fabulous job. So hey, if you're ever visiting Tennessee, we're 30 minutes away from Nashville, come see us. I promise you'll get glitter on you. Well, be sure to subscribe to this channel because we're going to have more videos coming out. Happy holidays.